the PCL. Now the PCL, it's remember the one who was actually throwing the ball. It was coming uh, from the back side, and that ball was um, you were throwing the ball upward, forward, and medially, because you're going medially to the medial femoral condyle. You are preventing lateral rotation of tibia. Okay, and what else does it do? We all know that it prevents posterior translation because it, it, it's coming out of the posterior intercondylar area of tibia. So it's holding tibia from going backward and everything prevents hyperextension. It's not something new. Now, the injury is very important. PCL is rarely injured, but you guys need to remember if you have any kind of blow force doing posterior translation of tibia you are doing the thing that pcl is trying to prevent you are going to do injury in another word if you do any force to the tibial tuberosity if you have if if someone falls on tibial tuberosity pcl injury the dashboard injury uh, if someone has an accident and the dashboard uh, pushes the tibia backward, PCL injury. If there is a flexed leg and um, uh, a football player pushes the tibial tuberosity or the tibia backward, this is going to enter the PCL. So PCL injury is the easiest one out of all, but I'm sure with the um, mnemonic we had previously about the vulgus lateral rotation of tibia, L, L, medial collateral ligament and ACL ligament, everything else is opposite everything will be easy now okay for the injuries now how can you test the uh, pcl it's very easy opposite to the anterior drawer opposite to the lackman's test you will have you will flex the patient's knee uh, 20 to 30 degrees and then you will try to push his tibia backward if it it becomes lax and you can feel it backward it means it's um, injured now uh, so if everything is easy guys now the mcl um, uh, vulgus lateral rotation okay and the uh, acl is vulgus also lateral rotation and um, uh, lcl is the opposite and pcl anything to tibial tuberosity okay now what about the popliteus muscle popliteus muscle is basically the muscle that causes unlocking of knee joint once you do full extension of the knee joint guys it means your knee is in locked position so that you don't fall what does the popliteus muscle do popliteus muscle is actually a muscle that is attached to the tibia medially and the lateral condyle of femur uh, laterally okay one thing i want you to know is that uh, remember the unhappy trial the the, the medial collateral ligament uh, this is the femur and this is the tibia you had the acl here you had the medial meniscus you had the medial collateral they were all attached together and uh, one of the things that makes you to understand that lateral collateral ligament is actually a rod like it's very thin ligament and it's separated from the knee joint by the popliteus muscle okay because the popliteus muscle comes from the tibia and it goes to the lateral condyle of femur so actually the popliteus muscle is intracapsular it's inside the knee capsule you, the, the knee joint capsule is outside and this muscle is actually separating the the the, uh, the bone itself from the lateral collateral ligament and from also the knee uh, joint capsule okay now the popliteus muscle guys it's unlocking when it contracts it's going to help you to uh, release your knee joint so that you can move it will do something called unlocking how does the unlocking uh, movement happen the unlocking movement is basically going to happen by if you look at the uh, weight bearing and non-weight bearing um, in, in, in the non-weight bearing if you are not fixing your tibia it means you are going to rotate the tibia to unlock by internal rotation internal rotation of tibia is going to unlock the knee joint if you are standing let's say and you're doing a squat let's say um, the tibia is fixed so you need to have rotation here to unlock the knee so who is going to rotate in this case it's the femur so what kind of rotation are you going to have great if the if the rotation in my tibia should be internally 
in order for me to unlock in the non-weight bearing position, it means the movement here is the opposite. It's going to be external rotation of femur. Okay, so guys, this is very, very, very important. You need to remember that the popliteus muscle unlocks the knee joint in the weight-bearing position. Weight-bearing means the tibia is fixed. So I have to rotate the femur over the tibia to unlock the knee joint. And that will be external rotation or lateral rotation of the femur. However, if the tibia is fixed in a... Uh, um, this is what? This is a weight bearing, yeah, so fixed tibia. Uh, in an unweight bearing, it means the tibia is free. If the tibia is free, guys, so it's very easier for me to unlock by moving the tibia, okay? So tibia is going to rotate to unlock in the opposite direction. What is the opposite direction? It's medial rotation of tibia, okay? So guys, the unlocking mechanism of popliteus muscle is very important. If the tibia is fixed, then you have to lateral rotate the femur. If the, if the uh, tibia is free, you need to medially rotate the tibia to unlock the knee joint, okay? Uh, lateral rotation of femur, medial rotation of tibia. I didn't do a mnemonic for that, but, um, uh, well, you can say LFMT, okay? Uh, lateral rotation of femur, or media rotation of tibia, okay, LF or MT, okay, LF, MT, great, how can we injure the popliteus muscle, how can we injure the popliteus muscle, remember, if you want to injure a muscle or ligament, you need to do the thing that stretched, stretches over stretches the thing you have, Great. You guys know that the, the, the popliteus muscle comes from the tibia and it goes to the lateral condyle of femur, right? So, in order to injure the popliteus muscle, you need to have lateral rotation of tibia. Lateral rotation of tibia. How would you remember that? Guys, remember the popliteus. How does the popliteus muscle unlock the knee? by medial rotation of tibia, right? It contracts by medial rotation. So if I do lateral rotation of tibia, it means I am moving against the direction of the muscle contraction. It means I'm overstressing and overstretching the muscle. So if you guys remember one thing only, only one thing, you will be able to answer hundreds of questions. Bobletius muscle, unlocks the knee joint by medial rotation of tibia, right? If the tibia is free, great. If the tibia is free, medial rotation. So in order for me to injure the popliteus, I need to laterally rotate the tibia to overstretch the muscle and I injure the muscle, okay? Now, what about the extended knee? Extended knee, you need to do lateral rotation plus a varus force. Why varus force? Because in extension, you guys, usually the muscle is going to be protected. So you need to have a blow force, okay, varus force, a, 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 a blow force in order to um, have this kind of injury. Now, the, um, the vulgus force was coming from the lateral. Varus force needs to come from here. Why do you need to know to do varus force? Because this is guys going to the lateral uh, femoral condyle. If it goes to lateral femoral condyle, if you if you do a force here, you are separating those two sides from each other. So that will help you to injure the muscle. So remember, because this muscle is going to the lateral femoral condyle, like the lateral collateral ligament, so it's gonna be varus force. So you guys, in order for you to understand the injury, just make sure you know the ligament. Where is the ligament? You know the difference between vulgus and varus. You understand that if you do the thing that overstretches the muscle or the ligament, that will help you to injure the muscle or ligament. Okay, so just listen to uh, everything one more time and you will find it very easy to understand and grasp 
uh, all of the functions of the ligaments and muscles and the injury. Uh, 